The shelter called me and they said uh, there was a mommy dog who just delivered. They asked if I could come get them. So we went and picked up mommy and six puppies. So I bottle fed them and then at eight weeks old we had adoption events. We went through tons of applications. Most got adopted and then Mary was adopted as well. A year and a half after adoption, I got a call from a different shelter saying, we have one of your dogs here. My heart sunk. And I was like, oh my gosh, who? Found out it was Mary. Went to the shelter to pick her up in a panic. She came out completely head down. She had scars on her nose, fly strike on her ears. They had wrapped her tail because she had all chewed it to the bone. She just looked defeated. We work so hard to place all of our rescues in the very best forever homes. Uh, you know, we do a home check, we do a meet and greet. Uh, just even thinking about it now, it's hard to even imagine that I placed a, one of my rescues in a home where she was just neglected. I sat down, once she smelled me, she changed completely and was so happy and vibrant, even though she was weak. I just promised her that I would get her help and get, get her the life she deserved. And the husband did not want to get attached. He, made, he was making it very clear, this is just a foster. We are not going to foster fail. she fit in right away and I think that was odd sometimes especially with a dog that's had issues you expect it's going to take some nurturing but I think she just pretty much walked into that house like I'm home <laughs> And the wife texts me and says, I don't know, I wanna, I wanna surprise him for Christmas with adopting Mary. Can we do that? I'm like, of course. She said he loves her and she loves him. She, I don't know, she fits in perfectly in our family. was a happily ever after for Mary. After all that struggle and pain, it turned into a beautiful happily ever after for our little Mary. <laughs> and that's her story.